Goldstein, good hands. Here's Brown bending it back. He's got his first of the afternoon. The Coleman medal leader. Hartung, good handball to the outside. Zebel chips it to Brown. That's some kick under pressure. The tackle was being. But the third quarter has belonged to Ben Brown. Can he make it? Oh, oh. beautiful. You bet he can. Just lay it up towards the top of the square. Brown looking for body contact. He's too tall. Typical day for me, it depends whether it's in season or out of season. In the pre-season, it's pretty long, arduous hours, but in season, it's a little bit different. We'd go in for the day, um, start with maybe some physio or some massage to get us ready for training. We head out to train, which is normally a couple of hours, depending on the session. There'll be another little bit of massage in the afternoon and maybe some weights before we, before we head home. I suppose what drives me every day is to um, just keep on improving. So I'm, I feel like I'm pretty lucky to actually have this opportunity to, to play after a footy. As long as I keep that in the back of my mind, I think that's what keeps me going every day to make sure that I know that I'm really lucky and privileged to have the opportunity to play in North Melbourne. I became a vegan at the start of this season. I was a pescatarian for about, oh, about a year or so before that, a bit over a year. And it was a long process of making sure that it was it was right for me and just making sure that I was doing the right thing, not only um, for me in terms of I suppose my own ethics, but also in terms of uh, the footy club and making sure that my football was still progressing really well. If I can get what I need in my life out of foods and drinks that I'm having um, without doing harm to animals in, in the best way that I can, then I want to be able to do that. So my teammates at first, I, I suppose they didn't really think anything in particular. I kind of thought I'd caught more flack for it, to be honest. The reaction was, um, I suppose, pretty positive, really. A minor concern of mine when I when I started out was that it would affect my energy levels or it would affect something. Really, I feel like I've been able to perform pretty much at my optimum. And Well, thanks for joining me on my day today, my drive into the club and back. Um, I've really enjoyed it. I hope you guys have um, enjoyed it too, and I, I hope I've been able to maybe clear up some misconceptions about um, being vegan and gluten-free and being a footballer. And, um, been lots of fun, so thanks for coming. Good build up here from the Kangaroos. Sir Hart of the pocket, Blake and Brown. Almost had the place in the competition over the last three years. He doesn't miss many. This is McMillan who found a way to access the ball, and now he's going to get it back, so reward for Evans. Higgins. 
And Higgins goes inside 50 for Ben Brown, who's got it for double figures. For number 10. There it is. Ben Brown hits double figures. 10 goals. How's that sound to you? Oh, pretty good. <laughs> yeah, no, it was, like I said, it was, it was good fun. And I think it, you know, it makes it easy, um, as I said at half time, it makes it easy when the ball's coming in like it was tonight. It, um, you know, credit to the boys up the field. Mum and Dad were here to see that. I'd be very, very proud. Yeah, oh, hopefully. Um, yeah, Mum and Dad came over for the game, and um, it's always awesome when they come over. And yeah, great, great to have them there. Could you, could you hear the crowd? Because every time it went near you, you know, it went up a level when you were getting close to the 10 goals. Oh, yeah. It's, oh, our supporters are, are fantastic, and they come out every week no matter what. And, um, you know, it, it was, like I said, it, you know, it was good fun. And when the crowd's up and about like that, it definitely gets you up and about too. Congratulations, 10 goals, the first player to do that this year.